what's up, guys? My name is Mike Watt. I'm the teaching pastor here at Crossword Church. I'm Trevor Cowan. I'm the executive pastor at Crossword Church. Welcome to Quote of the Week, also known as Mike and Trevor are in quarantine. <laughs> Instead of Mike and Trevor in the morning. <laughs> but it is the week. We spent too much time together the last week. Just keep elbow distance away. Elbow, elbow. I need you six feet away from I me. I wish you would. Just Get away from me. Five and a half feet that way, please. Right off the screen. I wish you would tell such a social distance. Man. Social distance isn't a thing with this guy. <sighs> That's how he, he's, he bear hugs me hello. That's it. Like, I've never hugged him. He never hugged me? Never hugged He's you. full of lies. Don't listen to this guy. Quarantine is doing bad things to him. All right? <laughs> but that brings up today's quote. It's the, it's the cake meat that I have to eat because it's all gone. They're just regular meat. You're eating regular meat. You're ba you're barely suffering. All right. <laughs> you ate it. Uh, you ate it. Dells yet? All right, all right. Let's get to the quote. Oh yeah, please. Now we're rushing along. <laughs> all right, this week's quote. Hey, a friend of mine, brother Larry, dropped this uh, yesterday, and I loved it. So we're using that. Thanks, Larry. Um, this is from Richard Blackaby. He says, "Crisis can make you compassionate or a complainer. Don't let hard times make you self-absorbed." Which one do you think you become more? A complainer. Oh, yeah, easy. I'm so fast to complainer. <laughs> you, you, you complain about everything. I'm not even eating fake meat. I was just complaining about <laughs> eating fake meat. <laughs> That's it. I ate Adele's yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So self-absorbed. They're, they're kind of, you know, yeah. they're in step. Um, but yeah, um, we can become compassionate or complainer during these hard times. And, and, uh, and hey, I would push you towards compassion. What does that look like? Man, right now we, we do want to do the, the the social distance thing, right? Let's not ignore those things. Um, let's let's be wise um, and and do what the CDC says. That's their job to try to keep us safe. And so yeah, so so greet people with uh, with the elbow bump. Yeah, or you could do uh, my favorite the, the hip. Oh oh yeah oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah. What if you did the uh, like uh, football players? They do like yeah. yeah. That's not football players. That's football players. Yeah. That's that's awesome wrestlers like us. <laughs> I guess you could do that as well. <laughs> um, but uh, compassionate, loving your neighbor, all right? Uh, but also, it's not like our phones quit working. Send out those texts of encouragement. Yeah. Um, give someone a call. I know that's uh, not so much your generation. Um, no, 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 My generation no, will no, call. No, no, no. We'll, we'll talk on the phone. Um, do that, man. Um, we don't. We can social distance and not socially disconnect. I feel like you've said that before. That's that's kind of my thing. We've said it a lot. I've got, I didn't even make that it's up. It's good. We're quoting Cecil. What's up, Cecil? All kinds of shout outs today. That's right. <laughs> um, but uh, don't let these hard times make you self-absorbed. That's pretty easy to fall into, huh? For me, it is. Super easy for him. Especially once your hot tub's up. Dude, don't talk to me about my non-working hot tub right now. <laughs> The guy won't come out to fix it. Your hot tub doesn't work. The apocalypse is happening. Our pants. Heads are Our falling pants. off. Heads are falling off. They're not falling off. My qualities are fine. Y'all don't worry about them. <laughs> but, uh, so what does Jesus have to say about these hard times? Um, well, specifically about these hard times. I mean, you know. Okay, not specifically. But see it, but he but knew time. All right. He's <laughs> above time, outside of time. So in the Bible, what does it speak of? Uh, well, e in hard times, in good times... Any times, all the times, we are to love God and love neighbor. Mm -hmm. Those love, are the greatest two commandments right there. Yeah, love Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah, so hey, hey, we, we do have it, some time, right? Yeah. And so, hey, what a great time to lock in and set some, not just routines of Bible reading, but, but go above and beyond and spend some extra time in the Word, in and in prayer. Um, and hey, you're tired of the fake meat? Try fast, <laughs> you know, and oh, spend man. time loving Sorry. God. Yeah. Yeah. And but then, also, love your neighbor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, find ways to reach out to people. Find ways that, that people people uh, people are in need right now. And yeah. uh, find, finding opportunities to to uh, to care for them, to share share with them. And then, uh, like, we, uh, like we say in the newsletter, find opportunities to give the reason for the hope that's in you. That's right. If you're a Jesus follower, we have what people need during this time. We have we have Jesus. We, we have hope of the world. We have a firm foundation that doesn't shift depending on what's going on in this world. And that's that's my Jesus. And so, hey, hand him out freely. All right. We're not going to run out. 
keep handing him out during these hard times. Um, it'll, it'll be a good thing. Build the habit now and things go back to not crazy, then you'll be in the habit. You'll keep handing out this hope of Jesus that our world needs so much. Yes, yeah, it's good time to build habits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so hey, that's our encouragement to you guys um, in our uh, quote of the week this week is, is show some compassion. Um, there's other people out there who need it. Um, this week, as we were doing some food deliveries, it was it was cool. It was really encouraging for some folks to see the face to face. Now, it was really hard to maintain social distance because we're huggers, but we'll it was get also, there. It was also hard to go to somebody else's house. Yeah, yeah. Now we can't we can't just spend really. the day here. Um, but uh, but it was encouraging for us. I, I believe it was encouragement to those we got to visit, and so uh, we can still maintain those six feet. We can still have groups less than ten. Um, be safe out there, um, but uh, don't become self-absorbed. Yep. Cool. All right. Hey, guys. This has been another quote of the week. Hopefully encouraging you to push you through to the weekend, which feels exactly like the week. Mike, Mike and, and Trevor, Trevor are in quarantine. Is that what to do? To Jamie in sports. Jamie in sports. How's it going in sports? Guys, there's there's no sports. There's, a, there's quarantine going on. Mike and Trevor in the morning.